because some people face poverty without, without enough food, water or proper sanitation. We live in a world where some people are greedy and selfish, only thinking for themselves. We live in a world where everyone has rights, but not everyone's rights are respected. In 1948, a set of 31 human rights were written by 48 different countries, both developed and developing, a clear set of moral standards universally agreed upon. However, while the violations against human rights no longer occur in the same form, every day, in every country, Every single person has their human rights violated. We live in a world where thousands of refugees flee their homes for fear of persecution and their lives. Since August of last year, the Rohingya refugees have been fleeing from the, across the Myanmar-Bangladesh border. Over 900,000 of them have been persecuted by the Myanmar military. They have been denied, they have been denied citizenship and due to recent lack of rule of law, they are dis have been displaced from their homes. Myanmar being a predominantly Buddhist country and this group being an ethnic Muslim minority seems to have a connection. These people were denied their nationality, their right to religion and freedom of thought. They were denied their humanity. We live in a world that thrives on inequality, where some people suffer so that others can live the lives that they want. Infamously, Fox contractors in China treat their workers so poorly so that they can meet the demands of the technology market, particularly Apple products. The suicide rates in these factories were so high, with so many people jumping off the top of the building, that they put suicide nets to stop them from killing themselves. The notes told of the poor working conditions, of the little pay, and the humiliation that they face from their managers. How can we pe place the life of a, life of a person under that of a phone? We live in a world where things aren't fair, governments restrict our freedoms, and people constantly try and trick us. With increasing prevalence of technology in our society, fake news is always being pushed towards us, with people trying to change our opinions on issues political or otherwise. Governments make claims to freedom of speech, saying that people can say whatever they want, However, they enforce strict rules, where in some countries people are in prison for speaking out about what they think and about their religion. We are promoting a culture of secrecy and of fear, one where we say something but practice another. We live in a world of cheap labour and discrimination, of corruption, pollution and lies. But we do live in this world. This is our world, our chance. We have the power, we live in a world where we have the power to make a change.